well hello there good afternoon welcome it's mr duncan live on youtube in a very unusual place i am now at the moment 1700 feet up in the air on top of a place called the brown clee hills in shropshire so i'm not even sure if you can hear this i hope you can if you can hear it please let me know so i know that i'm not wasting my time so here we are at the top of the brown clee hill this particular place you can see now is an, a disused mine so this particular area used to be used for sending mining or miners should i say down to dig up the rocks and this is the disused mine <laughs> please excuse me if i seem a little disorientated it's just that this is a very very unusual situation to be in and of course up here as well is mr steve there is mr steve can you see him mr steve come over here and say hello come over here and say hello hi hello it's very cold up here <laughs> I'm here with uh, Mr. Duncan walking, uh, as we just have done, to the top of the Clee Hills, the Brown Clee. And it's very windy and quite cold, despite it being a summer day. But we're having fun. We've just had some sandwiches. And uh, I think Mr. Duncan's probably going to show you some of the scenery that we can see from up here. I think so, because we are now around about 1,700 feet in the air, which is around about 540 meters. Please don't ask me to be exact about that, because I'm not actually sure. But everyone is saying, where is Mr. Duncan? Where is Mr. Duncan? I am right here. Don't worry. I am here. Just to prove that I'm here live. Oh, there I am. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's Mr. Duncan at the top of the Brown Clee Hill. This is a very unusual moment. Uh, I hope you can hear me okay. It's very windy up here because we are now high up. Would you like to see some of the views? Okay, let's have a look, shall we? We'll go over to one of the views just to give you an idea of how high up we are. I have to be careful here because I have to now jump over a large gap so if I suddenly disappear, it's because I vanished down a coal mine or should I say a slate mine. So please excuse me. I'm about to jump across a very large gap. So let's see what happens. One, two, three. Oh, OK, I've made it across. <laughs> Thank goodness. I look very scruffy today. I've just realised how scruffy I look today because I haven't had a shave. OK, let's have a look at the view, shall we? And there it is. There is the view across Shropshire. In the distance, you can see the Reakin. So the Reakin Hill is in the distance. In the distance over there, you can see... Well, you can't actually see where I live, but... Over there somewhere <laughs> is where I live. The only thing I'm concerned with today is the sound quality. I'm not sure how good the sound is, but I am using my professional microphone, so I hope you can hear me OK. <laughs> there are some sheep up here as well. Now, one of the other things that this area is famous for, besides its historical value, because in the past there used to be a quarry here we also have some sheep up here as well let's have a look oh there are some sheep can you see the sheep oh isn't that lovely there are some sheep here we'll have a closer look shall we at the sheep let's see how close we can get to the sleeping sheep but this place used to be very busy with people mining digging for rock that was used for building. And there are some sheep having a little sleep. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Sheep. How are you today? Are you OK? I hope so. Are you happy? I hope so. <laughs> oh, isn't that cute? OK, we'll, we'll let you carry on with your sleep. Don't worry. So there are some, some sleeping sheep. 
having a little sleep in this disused mine just to give you a better idea of where we are <laughs> shall we go to the top okay here we're going to the top now I do apologize if I'm not on camera at the moment but I am here it's Mr Duncan live at the top of the Brown Clee Hill in Shropshire we are very high up at the moment right. we're not far from the top we are very close to the summit so now we are going up oh dear me right. and there is the view that's what we are looking at now that is the view across Shropshire and if we look over there you can see in the distance the Reekin and also looking over there we are looking towards where I live <sighs> oh, I must admit I'm a little tired after all that walking we were walking for about an hour and a half up to the top of here although to be honest we did cheat slightly didn't we we did cheat Mr Steve because did we? we did cheat a bit because we, we drove we drove up here so partly part of this <laughs> climb was actually in the car yes but we still still took us over an hour to get up to the top even though we did drive part of the way up because uh, you had a lot of equipment to carry <laughs> that's okay anyway so here we go <laughs> that was quick <laughs> by the way it's my birthday on saturday don't forget it's mr duncan's birthday if you want to say happy birthday to me on saturday or sunday rather i will be here on sunday if mr steve could just hold the microphone for a moment are you hoping for a lot of presents mr duncan on your birthday <laughs> because you may not get anything really why is... On the other hand, you might get lots of presents. Why is Mr. Steve being so mean to me? <laughs> I don't know why. So here we are, we are now at the top. <laughs> oh, hang on. <laughs> I was talking then and I didn't have the microphone. So now you can see me, just to prove that we are live on YouTube. What time is it now? It is now coming up to three o'clock. Three o'clock here in the UK and it is Mr Duncan and of course Mr Steve as well let's not forget Mr Steve is here as well <laughs> just to prove that we are live on YouTube it is coming up to three o'clock in the afternoon Hello. big big masts over there where over there let's have a look there are some big masts in the distance you no, can... that, over there I meant yes I am I'm pointing them oh, over there I see. <laughs> Uh, so you, this mobile phone has a front camera you see there oh. it is yes in the distance so what you can see at the top there are tv transmitters and also mobile phone transmitters as well so they use these for transmitting tv signals and also mobile phone signals as well so that is what they are used for and there's mr steve again as I said earlier, I will be with you next Sunday at 2 o'clock UK time. So don't forget, I will be with you next Sunday for those who are not sure. Live as live can be. <laughs> Just like now, because now I am live at the top of the Brown Clee Hill in Shropshire. So after this is finished, you can have a look on Google and you can find out where I am. The Brown Clee Hill is where I am at the moment. What are you doing there? Oh, I haven't said any hellos yet. Do you think I should say hello to a few people? I think so. Could you just hold the camera, Mr. Steve, there? Thank you very much. <laughs> Mr. Steve is my cameraman today. So let's have a look at some of the live chatters, shall we? I think so. <coughs> By the way, if you feel like sending me a birthday present via Super Chat, you are more than welcome, don't forget. <laughs> Hello from Uruguay, Gladys. Hello, Gladys. Nice to see you here today. Kelly, Kelly Piera Lima is here. Mr. Duncan, the sound is fine. I hope so, because it's very windy up here. But I am using my professional microphone. I've managed to plug my microphone into my phone hello from Morocco Hansa or Hasna hi to you as well 
Good morning, Mr. Duncan. What a beautiful place it is. It is very beautiful and also very high up. We are high up at the moment in the sky. <laughs> the place I am at at the moment is called the Brown Clee Hill. I'm sure quite a few of you would like to have a look at it on Google Maps. Ahmed, hello Ahmed, we can hear you Mr. Duncan. Oh, I like your English, says Rivan. Rivan Shamal says, I like your English, Mr. Duncan. Hello everyone, says Eugene. Hi Eugene, thank you very much for joining me. One of my regular viewers on YouTube. Eugene also says hello to Mr. Steve as well. Isn't that nice? Hello, Mr. Duncan. So nice to be able to enjoy such a beautiful view with you and Mr. Steve. Thank you, Olga, for that. <laughs> Although it is very windy up here at the moment. <laughs> and I've just realised I haven't had a shave today, so I might look a little bit rough around the edges. Mr. Steve, the, in the last stream... Oh, the last stream was awesome when Mr. Steve was with Mr. Duncan. Oh, I see. OK, well, Mr. Steve will be joining me on Sunday once again. So here we are live on YouTube. It is just after three o'clock in the afternoon and it's Mr. Duncan live at the top of the Brown Clee Hill in Shropshire. Sun's coming out. The sun is coming out now. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this morning when I woke up, the rain was was coming down very, very fast and furiously. So um, I was a little bit worried that we wouldn't be able to come up here. But wow, Mr. Duncan, what a peculiar place, says Babi, Babi Isis. I want to be there as well, says KM. The British countryside is gorgeous. Yes, I agree with you, Lila or Lila. Yes, the British countryside is definitely gorgeous. You definitely get a nice view from up here. This view gives you a very good idea of just how beautiful the English countryside is. I agree with you. I'm beginning to ache. Very fun, sir, says Hung Najuan. Thank you very much. Mr. Steve says, my hands are aching, so we will go yes, back. my arms are aching now. We will go. <laughs> Mr. Steve keeps talking, but he doesn't realise that's got a microphone. Yes, I, I just said, my arms are aching from holding the phone up in the cold wind. <laughs> so today, my camera assistant today is Mr. Steve. We are now live on YouTube. Ooh, and now I am trying to <laughs> make my way downhill. We don't want any accidents. We don't want any accidents, Mr. Steve said. You don't want a, a live accident on the top of the hill, Clee Hills. Imagine that. Imagine if I fell to the bottom of the hill all the way down. 1,700 feet up at the moment, high above the Shropshire landscape. And I'm trying my best not to fall and break my neck. Isn't that nice? There we go. Only the sheep would see it. Only the sheep would be a witness to it. By the way, the sheep are still sleeping. Would you like to see the, sh the sheep again? There are the sleeping sheep. Oh, don't they look lovely? Let's zoom in. There they are, look. The little sheep are having a sleep, sleeping at the top of the hill. Are you okay there? Hello. Hello, little sheep. Aren't you lovely? Yes, you are. You're having a little sleep, but that strange man keeps bothering you. He keeps disturbing you. Yes, he does. <laughs> okay. I'm having a biscuit. Mr. Steve is now having a biscuit. Just to prove it, there is Mr. Steve now ha having a biscuit. I don't know why I have, I've zoomed in on you too much. <laughs> mm. Hungry. I'm very hungry. That's better. <laughs> Are you hungry? Mm. I'm very hungry to all this walking. And um, those sheep are making me hungry because I'm just thinking of, um, of roast lamb and mint sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently Steve said watching, watching these sheep has made him feel hungry. 
he wants to eat some some roast lamb with mint sauce okay so quite a few people are now asking mr duncan where are you i am at the moment high up in the sky <laughs> well not quite in the sky but not far away from the sky <laughs> I'm now about 1,700 feet, 1,700 feet above the Shropshire Hills and the Shropshire countryside. I have flies, flies, <laughs> I have flies buzzing around me. The flies are attacking me. I that, wish... <laughs> that's the sheep dung everywhere. That's what that is, the sheep uh, waste product. It is true that there is sheep poo everywhere. Mm. We are surrounding... They don't need um, anything to help them uh, poo. <laughs> Not like unlike me. We talked about that on Sunday. <laughs> Once again, Mr. Steve manages to lower the tone of the conversation by mentioning his poo habits. Typical. Lots of people on the live chat. Hello, Mr. Duncan from Somalia. What is the topic today? The topic is being very high up in the air. <laughs> so today I am at the top of the Brown Clee Hill. Uh, there are actually two hills here. So I'm at the highest one. And the place I'm at at the moment is actually a disused mine. So in the past, this particular building the building behind me was used for excavating rock and let's have a look inside shall we let's go into the old mine Ooh. Ooh. this is very very scary imagine coming up here late at night i bet i bet at night it would be very scary being up here and there is a lovely view also out of the window behind me there is actually a, a window over here <laughs> once again i have to jump over the large gap so here we go one two three Ooh. <laughs> i nearly fell in i nearly fell into the large gap then so let's have the window so behind me you can see the window isn't that lovely look at look at that window behind me oh look at that it's very artistic <laughs> I'm trying my best to control the camera <laughs> it's not easy to do so this is Mr Duncan live on YouTube I've never done this before I've never gone live on YouTube in such a remote place before <laughs> I will go in a moment I've been here for around about 20 minutes Mr Steve is also here today there he is. Can you see Mr. Steve behind me waving? He's waving. I don't know what he's doing. What are you doing, Mr. Steve? I can't see you Mr. Steve is now watching me with his binoculars. Mustafa is going. Mustafa says, bye guys. See you later, Mustafa. Hopefully you will join me on Sunday. <laughs> it is very windy here, definitely. And the reason why it is windy is because it's very high up where I am. 1,700 feet. Very high up. Mr. Steve has a beautiful accent, but you speak much more clearly, says Pedro. Hello, Pedro Belmont. Thank you for joining me today. It's Mr. Steve. There he is, Mr. Steve and Mr. Duncan, live. I'll try, try to talk a bit clearer. Now, I, if people are having difficulty understanding what I'm saying. Mr. Steve is making a promise here. He says he will speak a little clearer on Sunday. Because, of course, we will be with you on Sunday from 2 o'clock UK time. And, of course, this Saturday, it's my birthday. Yeah, I will be another year older. He's expecting lots of cards, by the way. You don't have to shout, Mr. Steve. <laughs> I'm trying to say, yes, he wants lots of cards. <laughs> and lots of live donations, please. If you wish to make a live donation, you can send any amount of money, large or very large. Mr. Duncan and Mr. Steve, take care about uh, the snakes. Fortunately, there are no snakes here. You don't have to worry about snakes. There are no snakes here. 
grass snakes. Really? Mm. Oh, Steve said there might be some grass snakes here. Yeah. I hope not, because I don't like snakes. Yes, the uh, two snakes that are indigenous to the UK, grass snakes and adders. I don't like and, snakes. Uh, they're not very poisonous. You can't. I, I don't, don't like snakes. No, I can't see any around here. The sheep, I, the sheep eat them. I think. The sheep uh, eat the snakes. Look, there's, there's people coming. There's people coming on horses. Everybody, there are people on horses now coming. This is live from the top of the brown, the brown Clee Hill. So let's have a look. Let's see if we can f we can have a close look. They've got at very strange hats on. I've never, they've got weird blue hats on. I've never seen these before. I don't know. I don't know it. It's all news to me. Let's have a look, shall we? Let's see what's happening in the distance because there are some people on horseback coming up now. I will try to zoom in. And there they are. Can you see the horses? There are people now riding horses in the distance. Riding on horseback. So this is live, a live view. And there are some horse riders now. Very strange hats on. They're going to come right past us as well. Isn't that great? Look at that. I don't know if they're going to come past or not. So for those who've just joined me, it's Mr. Duncan live from the top of the Brown Clee Hill in Shropshire. And you can see in the distance, can you see the Reekin Hill in the distance? Yes, some people now riding horses. Yes. They're, they're going right past. It's very odd. <laughs> yes. Might give him a wave. So there it was. Hi. <laughs> there it was. We, we've got some horse riders coming by now. Riding horseback. Clip clop, clip clop. The horses go clip clop, says Mr. Steve. Can you just hold my microphone a moment? Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm zooming it in too far now, all over the place. Okay, that's. I'm now back. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's not very easy operating your mobile phone as a camera, it's very hard to do. Fortunately, I've had 10 years experience doing this, so for me it's not so difficult. Thank goodness. Hello Mr. D oh, hello Mr. Duncan. What a beautiful place. Abdul Salam says, "Where are you?" I am now in a place called or at a place called the Brown Clee Hill. You can look it up on Google. <laughs> look uh, look it up on Google Maps and find out where I am. I think we will go in a moment. This old house was built for the Romans. No, it isn't quite that old. It's probably, I would say this structure is about maybe 140, 150 years old. And it was used for mining slate and rock. So there are many quarries around here where stone and different types of slate are, are dug up it is excavated <laughs> thank you keen fee hello keen fee watching at the moment if you look behind me can you see behind me that gap behind me that is where they would send all of the rock down to the bottom so there it is there is the place where all of the rocks were sent down to the bottom emmanuel says it's unfair the place you are looking you are at now looks like heaven 
but we are in hell at the moment I'm very sorry to hear that I don't know where you're watching at the moment but I think I can guess hello mr. Duncan and mr. Steve nice to see you spending so much gorgeous time and beautiful view thank you very much I'm going in a moment about another three or four minutes and then I will go so it's been a very interesting day today <laughs> oh Steve has something to tell everyone out in YouTube land so what is it Steve well I've just uh, just read that apparently on this hillside during World War two somewhere around 1943 that sort of time period there were more crashes of aeroplanes on this hill than on any other hill in England during World War two and there's a memorial at the top what what here apparently apparently that's what it says here a memorial now commemorates the 23 allied oh 23 British and German airmen killed when their planes crashed into this hill this very hill during the Second World War okay well we were told not to mention the war but we only mentioned it a couple of times and I think we got away with it yes which oh, did we well, who told us not to mention the war <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a joke from television uh, right yes it is a joke from television yes but you that's only when there's German people around okay then we won't, uh, well, we're not going to go into that because that's probably politically incorrect as we discussed on Sunday I think you talked about political incorrectness we, uh, did, we, did, we did talk about being politically incorrect yes I think so <laughs> so this isn't a castle uh, this isn't this is not a castle this is just a, a, an old mine that was used for mining rock, digging rock, and I think maybe slate as well. But I think most most of the most of the quarrying around here is is for rocks, for building. The sheep are still here, by the way. Just in case you don't believe that I'm live, the sheep are just behind me. There they are. Can you see the sheep? I bet, I bet <laughs> Now, Steve says that this building might be constructed from the rock that was dug up. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> what I do love is when, when Steve talks to me off camera. We can't hear you, Mr. Steve. Come on. Here we go. No, I was just saying, because they used to, to mine rock here, I wouldn't surprise me if they didn't use the rock here to build this mine. Oh, I see. So you think this building was built using some of the rock that was dug up? Could well have been, yes, because it would have been very difficult to bring this amount of building material all the way up to the top of this hill. So I think they're quite probably... Uh, and it does say that it's dark black rock, and this is quite dark black coloured rock. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it's weathered over the years, but I wouldn't have thought they would have brought all this rock up here, all this way up. If it was already here, they would probably probably dug it up and then built this building with it. Yes, that's, that's quite good. So, so you use you use the material that you're digging up to build the building that you want to bring the material up or take it down with. Oh, I see. Yes, that's quite clever when you think about it. <laughs> Something clever just happened. Did you see it? <laughs> Please write it down in your diaries. Fan Phantom 999 says Mr. Duncan hello Phantom 999 thanks for uh, watching me today I'm going in a moment if Mr. Steve could just hold the camera for a moment whilst I say goodbye I will be going in a moment thank you very much for watching me I thought I thought today we would do something different so this is a live stream broadcasting to you live on YouTube from 1,700 feet in the air from the top of the Brown Clee Hill. Thank you. We have some hellos. Mohammed Mohammed Abdralazik says, "I want to see you, Mr. Duncan." Well, here I am. You can see me now. Hi there. Yay, Mr. Duncan, it's me, Peter from Brazil. Thank you, Shearer Blade. Thank you, Peter, for joining me. I'm now live on YouTube. <laughs> but not for much longer, because I'm going in a moment. 
Olaz or Oz Ozas says, Hi, Mr. Duncan, I love you. Thank you very much for that. You are very kind to say so. Hello from Cairo. Mariam. Mariam is watching in Cairo at the moment. A big hello to everyone watching in Egypt. So I think we will leave it there. Much to Mr. Steve's relief because he has been helping me today to do this. So thank you very much, Mr. Steve, for helping me today. You have been very helpful indeed. This is Mr. Duncan at the top of the Brown Clee Hill in Shropshire, England, saying thanks for watching me for the past 32 minutes and I will see you on Sunday. I'm back on Sunday in the studio and also joining me will be Mr. Steve as well. So I will see you later. Thank you, Eugene. Thank you, Marie. Thank you, Dang Nam. Thank you very much to everyone. Thank you to Anwar Hossein and also to Kelly as well. And Shira Blade, I will see you on Sunday. Don't forget, on Saturday, it is my birthday. It's my birthday this Saturday. So if you want to send me something nice through my email, feel free. See you Sunday. It's Mr. Duncan. And of course... Mr. Steve. <laughs> Mr. Steve. I thought you were going to say who I was. I didn't know I, I had to say who I was. <laughs> it's very slick around here, I have to say. Very slick. Quick look at the sheep. Shall we have a look at the sheep? So now Mr. Steve is making my job much harder. <laughs> where, are, where are they? I've lost the sheep. Oh, here they are. We'll we're going to have one last look at the sheep before we go. One last look at the sheep. I have to turn the camera around. Can Mr. Steve hold the mic? So we ha we're going we're gonna to have one last look at the sheep and then we will say goodbye. There they are. Oh, aren't they beautiful? Goodbye, sheep. Goodbye, sheep. Have a nice time. So it's goodbye from Mr. Duncan and Mr. Steve. We will see you later. This is Mr. Duncan in the birthplace of English saying, see you on Sunday live from two o'clock. And of course, a big ta-ta for now from the sheep as well. Ta-ta for now.